is getting out of control. Oh man, this is really, really bad. I can't lose this dollar. I think someone's still inside. Hey man, you gotta get out of here. This place is coming down. Let's go. Oh, I got it. Oh, oh my leg. Oh, come on. We gotta get you out of here. <coughs> Thank you. <coughs> All right, there you go. Are you okay? You just saved my life. Of course, no problem. What were you doing in there anyways? I was trying to save this. Here, please take it. What? After all of that, you just want to give this to me? Yes, absolutely. This is my lucky dollar. It was the first dollar I ever made. And if you take this, I promise it will change your life. Change my life? Wow. Okay, thank you. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Oh, I just saved this man's life. Yeah, right. You were probably running in there trying to steal from all these fancy houses. You don't belong in this neighborhood. Get lost. Ugh, unbelievable. That's right. You better keep walking, poor loser. Well, home sweet home. I guess that firefighter was right. This is where I belong. Ow! Ha <laughs> ha, stupid. Ugh, Billy, just leave me alone. No chance. Where on the street is that an old man gave you a million dollars? What? He gave me a dollar, Billy. It was for saving his life. Yeah, right. You're just a liar. You're probably stacked with dough from that old man. Give me the millions. No, leave me alone. I'm sick of you picking on me. He only gave me one dollar, not millions. It's more than I've ever had in my life. I'm not gonna just give it to you. Give me the dollar, I'm gonna ruin all your stuff. Billy, I don't have a whole lot of stuff as it is. Well, this is where you live, ain't it? <laughs> wow, I've never seen traps burn so fast. What the heck, man? You are out of your mind. I'll be even worse if you don't give me that dollar. There's no way I'm giving you this dollar. I'm out of here. I'm not letting you leave without giving me money. I can't believe Billy burnt all the stuff I had left. He's one of the worst people I've ever met in my life. And all I have now is this dollar. Man, I am so hungry. I don't want to spend this dollar, but I'm really tempted. <laughs> oh my gosh, that guy's choking. Oh, I've got to do this quick. One, two, three. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Wow, you're, you're okay. Oh my gosh. I tried to take a really big bite of my croissant. Really, dude? A croissant? I was really hungry. I tried to save my life. Here. Take this. That's all I got. I wish I could give you more. This is a hundred dollars. No, sir. I, I can't take this. No, please. I insist. Oh, great. Another homeless person. Oh, no, sir. You don't understand. He saved my life. You poor people need to stop coming in this coffee shop and using our free Wi-Fi. Get out of the coffee shop. Goodbye. You're useless. Goodbye. But she's good, you know? She's got solid bones. It's got no heat, no hot water, no water at all, actually. No water at all? Nope, but it's 50 bucks a month. I've got 100 bucks on me right now. I'll find a way to make that money and get you that rent, no problem. I can't go back to where I was before. Yeah, I literally don't care about what your story is, okay? I just want the money by the end of the month. All right, I can do that, no problem. Well, that man at the coffee shop gave me $100. I think for the first time in a while... I'm gonna buy myself a slice of pizza. I think I'm gonna go to that pizza place down the street. Well, would you look at that? I knew that little twerp was lying to me. He's probably loaded with dough at this point. And now he has a place to live. Look at it, all beautiful and fancy. It's a palace. Oh, I'll show him. <laughs> now this smells good. Oh man, fresh pizza. It's been a couple of years since I've had some. Uh, excuse me, sir. Can I just get one large slice of pepperoni pizza, please? What? How? You can't even afford it. Excuse me? Well, yeah, dude. You're obviously poor. I can afford a slice of pizza. <laughs> yeah, well, show me the money, dude. Fine. Here you go. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. Here, take it. Wow, thank you so much. Hey, man, I hate to ask you this, but are you guys hiring? Oh, are you kidding? I'm not going to hire some homeless loser. Got your slice of pizza now. Get out. What is all the commotion going on in my restaurant? Oh, my gosh, it's it's you. What? Oh, Richie, yes, the young lad who saved my life. Hey, uh, you said your name was Winston, right? I'm glad to see you're doing okay. I'm glad to see you're okay, too. Do you still have my lucky dollar? Yeah, of course I do. And you know, I think you were right. It's helping me actually make more money. See, just as I said, that dollar will change your life. Wait, Dad, do you know this guy? This loser's trying to get a job here. Ronnie, quit being so rude. This man saved my life. If he wants a job here, so be it. Wait, really? What, Dad? No. I've made up my mind. Richie, would you like to work here at my pizza place? It's just a small pizza shop, but there's a lot of opportunity here, young man. Wow, I, I can't believe this. 
Yes, sir. I would love a job here. No way, Dad. You can't do this. I don't want to work with a poor loser. Honey, shut up. You're going to have to deal with it. He's your new co-worker now, and I expect you to get along. Richie, I'll see you first thing tomorrow morning. You got it, sir. I'll be here. What's going on here? Oh my gosh, no, no. Oh, it's too late. Everything's ruined. Oh, gee, Richie. Tough luck there, buddy. Billy, you did this, didn't you? I didn't do nothing. I'm minding my own business. I ain't got no proof. But at least you could spend some of those millions to get yourself a new place. Billy, how many times do I have to tell you? I only got one dollar. I don't have millions of dollars just lying around. Where would I keep it? I don't know. You obviously have millions. This trailer costs way more than a dollar. You're a liar. Look, Billy, things are changing, and I'm working hard to change my life and get a different future. Well, good for you, but I don't like liars. Oh! oh. I'll get those millions from you, Richie, if it's the last thing I do. Oh, man, I hate that guy so much. Hey, 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 what happened to my trailer? I I'm sorry, sir. Sorry, I'm down property now. I ain't fixing this hunk of junk, so now you're on the streets. Wait, please, is there any other place I can go? Maybe you have another trailer? I can spend $60 a month. This was the last one that was cheap. Now get lost. Wow, my first day of work. This is so exciting. Oh, hey, Ronnie. What are you doing here? It's my first day on the job. Oh, wait a minute. You're actually here on time? Oh, that's so disgusting. Yeah, well, I plan on making a good impression and working as hard as I can. I think this is going to be a great chance for me. Yeah, I don't care. I'm just doing this because my stupid dad wants me to. I'm already rich. I shouldn't have to work. Well, there's nothing wrong with working, Ronnie. And you should have some respect for your dad. I mean, he owns this place after all. I think you should shut up and mind your own business. You're just a homeless creep that no one likes. Don't talk about my dad. I saved your dad's life. But regardless, I'm just going to do the best job I can and that's it and look there's a customer coming in right now oh great another annoying customer well then don't worry i'll help him out hi sir thanks for coming in today give me the biggest slice of pizza you've got i don't want to see a single vegetable on there yeah sure no problem uh, i hope you have a great day <laughs> are, are you crying look i'm uh, just really having a hard day oh wow i'm really sorry you're the first person that uh that was actually nice to me. Uh, <laughs> sir, don't cry. Everything's gonna be okay. It's all right. Here, a thousand dollar tip. It's for you. A thousand dollars? I can't take this. This is just a pizza shop. I, I insist. You were so kind. Thank you again. Did that guy just give you a thousand dollars? Yeah, I guess so. He said it was for just being nice to him. Well, hey man, I helped you out, kind of. Give me some of that money. Yeah, right. There's no way. I earned this. And I know we don't split tips, Ronnie. <sighs> yeah, whatever. Well, Ronnie, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, whatever. Man, that was a long first day. But I can't believe I actually earned a lot of money. People were actually kind of nice and I got some pretty good tips. Now, I've got nowhere to go. It might be easier to just sleep here behind the restaurant in the trash. That way, at least I'll be close to work. Uh, I just really hope no one sees me. Richie! Oh my goodness! Oh, uh, Winston! Hi, hi, sir! What in the world are you doing, young man? Why are you sleeping in trash? Well, sir, I really don't have anywhere else to go. My trailer, the place I was staying at, burnt down, and I'm kind of out of luck right now. Oh, this is ludicrous. You shouldn't be sleeping in garbage. I own an apartment building, Richie. You can come live at one of my rooms. No, I, I can't do that. I don't like taking handouts. Richie, you're clearly a hard worker, and I'm willing to help you. After all, I did give you that lucky dollar, and you just need a chance to grow. Ronnie told me about that man who gave you that $1,000 tip. You know, that wasn't an accident. The first dollar you earned saving me that night will change your life. You really think so, sir? Oh, I know it. And now you're going to take one of my apartments and learn more from me. Well, sir, you haven't steered me wrong yet. Uh, I'll take one of the apartments. Thank you. All right, thanks again. Man, this place is starting to get busier, I feel like. Richie, I cannot believe how good the business is today. I know, I was just saying the same thing. Look at all these satisfied customers. Excuse me, Dad. Why aren't you proud of me? I'm right here. I'm not proud of you because you're a terrible worker. You show up late all the time and you take more money than anybody else who works here. You need to be more like Richie. What? Why would be more like him? He's pathetic. Well, this man is going to be your manager soon, so you better treat him with respect. What did you just say, old man? I'm promoting Richie to manager. He's going to be running the whole store, 
car and be your boss. Oh my gosh, that's that's incredible. I haven't even been working here for that long. No, he hasn't. He's not qualified. Oh, shut up, Ronnie. Listen, Richie, I can teach you all I know about investing money. And you will get a raise for 50000 a year. What? Are you kidding? Now he's going to make more money than me? Dad, this isn't fair. This is how business works, Ronnie. Deal with it. Oh, this is dumb. I'm taking a break. Wow, Winston, really means a lot to me. Thank you so much. Don't worry about it, Richie. You've earned it. I can't believe this. I can't believe a poor loser like Richie's making more money than me. Yo, did I just hear Richie's making money? Ugh, who are you? My name's Billy. I know that Richie fella you're talking about. I hate that guy. Yeah, I hate him too. He's ruining my life. Well, don't worry, my friend. I got an idea on how we both can get back at him. Uh, I'm listening. I can't believe Winston said today was the busiest day he's ever had at this restaurant. The most sales in the company history. That's so cool. And I can't believe Winston trusts me to take this money and bring it to the bank. I mean, this is everything the pizza place brought in tonight. I need to get all this money to the bank and deposit it. What you're going to do is hand over the money. But hey, hey, sir, this isn't my money. I can't just give it to you. Give me everything you got or else you'll get a knuckle sandwich. Why, here, just don't hurt. Ow! <laughs> that felt good. Hurry up, fancy pants. We got to get out of here. Shut up and get in the car. <laughs> I can't believe that actually worked. I'm so jealous. You got to punch him in the face. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. You can punch him next time. Right now, we got a great business opportunity. We're going to be rich. Yeah, super rich. <laughs> Man, it's been three months and hoping the restaurant still is not easy. I've got to wake up super early in the morning for this. What? I mean, the job is good, so no use complaining. Oh, hey, Winston. Good to see you. Richie, uh, good morning. What are you doing here? I just came to open the restaurant, that's all. I thought I told you. No more overtime. I know, I know. But I still owe you $537.27 for the robbery. You've got that number down to a science? Yeah, it was my fault the business lost all that money after we were robbed. Well, after I was robbed. It was weighing on my head and I have to pay it back. Oh, Richie, you're such a hard worker. I wish my son was just as hard a worker as you. Say, have there been any leads on who exactly robbed me? No, unfortunately, we have no leads. The security cameras were off when we looked. That seems a little odd, doesn't it? I suppose so, but I don't know technology. Right now, we just have to focus on the future and do the right thing. Richie, I want you to come to an important business meeting in a few days. An important business meeting? Yes, and I want you there by my side. Well, that'll be great, sir. Uh, I'll be there for sure. This is the start of something new, Richie. Hey, you rich weirdo. We gotta talk. Oh, uh, I'm kind of busy right now. What's up? What's up? I need more dough. You said that we'd be rich from now from all the money we're taking. At the moment, it isn't liquid right now. It's got to be processed. I don't even know what that means. It's a bunch of complex bank financial stuff that only I can handle. You just need to trust me. If you want to make more money, why don't you try robbing some more rich people for cash? Yeah, that sounds like a pretty good idea. Plus, it's always fun. Well, hold up. Am I getting paid for this or what? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. I'll give you a small fee. Oh, okay. I'm cool with that. You're rich, so that must be a lot. Who should I go steal from? I have some ideas. Man, this luxury apartment building is super nice, Winston. And there's a whole concierge service here? Absolutely. We spare no... <clears throat> Hey, Winston, are you okay? Just an old man being an old man. Ah, uh, come on, Winston, you're not that old. Hey, watch it. Now we gotta focus, okay? Yeah, no, definitely. I'm learning a whole lot of stuff from you, I've gotta say. No, I'm impressed. You have an excellent understanding of business. Reminds me a lot of how I was when I was young. Oh, really? See, I too was raised pretty poor. I didn't have any money. The first dollar that I ever earned, I saved for all these years. It reminded me to work hard and that someday I could also help others. Now I kind of understand. That dollar really has been giving me good luck. Or at least I think it is. If it gave it to me, then it's definitely giving it to you. Now what do you say about this building, hmm? Well, sir, I think you should buy it. It seems really nice. And like you said, it would be a great return on your investment. See, that's the thing. I want you to go in on it with me. Really? Buy half of this building with you? I want to teach you how to turn your money into millions. And the only way to do that is to get you involved on the ground floor. Well, I'm not really sure I have the money for this. We can work out a deal. In the meantime, you can live here and watch over the place. Live here? Now that would be pretty sweet. You know what, Winston? I accept your deal. 
Ah, oh, fantastic! Now I must warn you, we're in some competition. There's a bigger pizza chain floating around. Checkers Pizza. Checkers Pizza? Our pizza's way better than theirs. We have a much better product. Theirs tastes like cardboard. It's absolute trash. Well, we're gonna have to come up with an idea in order to beat out their business. Well, we should probably open a second store then. You know what, Richie? I like where your head's at. That's a great idea. Let's do it. Where is our food? Yo, I haven't got anything to eat. What the? Hey, Ronnie, what is going on? Uh, I'm busy. Can you give me a minute? Busy? There's a line out the door and there's a ton of hungry customers. What are you doing? Uh, I'm tweeting. What does it look like? Put your phone down and get to work, Ronnie. What? No, you can't tell me what to do. Um, yes, I can. I am the manager here. Do you see how angry these people are? Oh, uh, you're just jealous of me, Richie. My dad owns the company. You just can't stand that's it. That's not it at all. Honestly, I think you're the one that's jealous of me. Why would I be jealous? of a stupid poor loser who runs a pizza joint because i got the promotion over you oh shut up you're literally the worst person on the planet richie and you know what i've had enough of this you're fired what you can't fire me yes i can i have full authority to fire you if you're not doing your job oh yeah just wait until my dad hears about this you'll be back on the streets poor z Dad! Hey, Dad! Uh, what is going on, Ronnie? You won't believe it! I got fired! Fired? What are you talking about? Your new best friend, Richie, thinks he's going to fire me? Am I still going to get my $1 million salary a year? This isn't fair! Oh, well, <coughs> maybe this might be a good thing for you. What? Why? Ronnie, I have something to talk to you about. I'm very sick. I tried to pretend that I wasn't for a while, but I think it might be serious. Whatever, I'm sure you're gonna be fine. I need you to help me find a job and get some money. I'm not going to get you anything. You need to learn how to stand on your own two feet. I shouldn't have spoiled you so much as a child. If I knew you were gonna turn out like this, I would have raised you properly. You raised me fine, Dad. I can stand on my own two feet, and I can wear Yeezys while I do it. Oh, Ronnie, you need to be real about this. I'm ill, and I don't know how much time I have left. You're just being dramatic. You're just making this all about you. It's supposed to be about me. I'm the one who's out of the job right now. Now it's time that you earn it. If the doctor's appointment doesn't go well tomorrow, I want to know that my son can take care of himself. Uh, whatever. I can take care of myself just fine. Thanks for nothing, Dad. You're the worst. Oh, unbelievable. My own dad turned against me. Hey, Billy. Hey, what do you want? I think I found somebody for you to rob. Man, I feel like I haven't had a day off in forever. This is so nice. And this park is close to that new apartment I'm living in. I don't recognize this number. Um, hello? Hi, is this Richie? Yeah, this is him. Uh, how can I help you? My name is Dr. Stillwater. I'm over here at Western General. Uh, got a Winston here. He, uh, really needs to see you. Uh, I'll be right there. Winston, are you okay? Uh, I'm sorry, Richie. I'm very sick. What? How did this happen? You seemed fine the other day. Well, truth be told, I've been feeling sick for quite a while now. <coughs> you just need to rest, that's all. Where's Ronnie? Oh, uh, yes. Well, recently, Ronnie and I had an argument, and I don't think he's going to be showing up. Uh, maybe I could give him a call or something. Oh, don't worry about it. I, I'm sure he'll be fine. Oh, oh. Wait, wh what is it? I'm not sure what's wrong with me, but it feels strange. Winston, don't worry. I'm sure everything will be fine, and we're gonna get out of here soon, okay? Once the doctor comes in... Oh, he must be Dr. Stillwater. Well, how's Winston doing? I take, when can I get him out of here? He's not going anywhere anytime soon. Is it that bad, doctor? It's a lot worse than we originally thought, Winston. I'm really sorry. I can't stop thinking about Winston being in the hospital. I just hope he does okay and pulls through. All this craziness has kind of inspired me. I really want to give someone the same opportunity Winston gave me. I don't really care so much about the money now. It's about changing people's lives. Oh, uh, hey guys. Wow, if it isn't Richie. What do you want, Richie? Come here to brag about your rich lifestyle to us? Yeah, he thinks he's better than us now. No, guys, that's not it at all. I know exactly where I came from. I used to live here with the rest of you, and I never got an opportunity or a 
chance. But once I did, things started to change. Yeah, okay, so what? Big deal. Well, I want to give you guys an opportunity too. Opportunity? What kind of opportunity? Well, I'm starting a new restaurant and I need a lot of people to come work for me. I know you guys are good people and, and I want to help you guys get some housing too. Yeah, right. This sounds too good to be true. No, I'm serious. I'm investing in a new property and I already got approval to give free housing to people in the area. Wait, did you really? No lie, guys. I promise. Well, Richie never lied before. Yeah, and he said he's going to give us jobs. I need the money. Is this really for real? It's for real, guys. I promise. Oh, I'm definitely in. Yeah, me too. Yeah, you know what? Count me in as well. Well, guys, I'm glad to have you part of the team. Now, come on. Let's get you all out of here. Okay, dude, keep quiet. We don't want to get caught. Man, this is a big, fancy neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, it's real big and fancy. Now, come on. It should be a really easy robbery. Just some old man. Ah, just an old man? Super easy. Okay, there's a safe in the other room. No one should be home by now, so we should be good. Well, how do you know that? Uh, uh, instincts, you know? Ronnie? Ronnie, is that you? Oh, well, what? You know this guy? Dad, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be in the hospital. Whoa, what? You want to rob your own dad? Wait, Ronnie, are you robbing me? Oh, uh, well, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, no, this is way too messed up. I'm out of here. Billy, wait, no, we're so close to the cash. Ronnie, after everything I've done for you, how could you steal from me? You stopped giving me what I want, Dad. How else was I supposed to get it? I, uh, uh, I don't believe this. I don't have much time left, and I am so disappointed in you. Oh, stop being dramatic, Dad. You're just exaggerating. You're not that sick. <coughs> I am sick of you demeaning me all the time, young man. You know what, Ronnie? You are on your own. When I pass, I am leaving you nothing. You'll have to work hard just like I did. Now get out before I call the cops. No, Dad, you can't do this. Get out. Well, Winston, what do you think? It's the brand new pizza place. Built just to your specifications, I promise. Oh, Richie, this exceeds my expectations. I can't believe you've done this. Well, you were the one that gave me the opportunity and the strict plans to follow. I have to admit, though, this place looks pretty darn good. Richie, I am so proud of you. I've never had someone tell me that before. Thank you so much, Winston. Richie, you've listened to what I said. You've done well, and you will keep growing because of it. I think you'll be the richest person in Roblox. Yeah, maybe one day. I want to keep making money and giving back. I think that's the most important thing. I think that's fantastic. <laughs> All right, why don't we take it easy? Uh, why don't we go sit down somewhere? <laughs> no, I'm fine, Richie. Oh. Winston, someone, someone please call an ambulance. Someone help. No, he can't. He can't go now. Please just, just don't let him die. My only friend in the world, my mentor. He's like a father to me. Please pull through. Oh, Richie. Oh, Dr. Stillwater. Please tell me Winston's okay. I'm uh really sorry, young man. He, he didn't make it. We did our best, but he was just far too sick. Are you gonna be okay? I just, I just don't know what to do now. Well, it's not like you really have to worry about it. You're rich now. I'm rich now. Oh yeah, you didn't know? The old man changed his will right before he died. He literally left his entire empire, everything he had, to you. Wow, that's that's so kind. I'm gonna do whatever I can to make him proud. That's for sure. Yo, Winston, I really wish you could see me now. I wish you could see what I've done with your company. I've got a brand new corporate office and it's been a really, really hard year. I miss you a lot, my friend, but I'm gonna have this dollar with me no matter what. Hope that if you were here, You'd be proud of Hey, Richie! We gotta talk! I need money, and I need it now! Ronnie, what are you doing here? Well, I just let myself in, considering my dad started this business, and I should be the rightful owner. Well, fortunately for your dad's company, he didn't leave it to you. He left it to me. Oh, you're so stupid. You're probably wasting your money, no doubt. Wasting my money? I earned all of this on my own, the way your dad taught me. I still can't believe my dad left you all that money. I'm his son, and he left me with Zip. And Ronnie, that is your fault. It's not like your dad gave me all this money to just throw around and throw parties and go on yachts and stuff. I'm supposed to use this money smartly to invest and help people. It's what your father said to do in his will. Something you never do. Who cares about helping people? Give me that money. But get out of my office. If you want some money, go earn it. The days of free handouts are over. My life is free handouts. I don't believe this. Just you wait, Rich. I'll get rich again. You'll see. 
Excellent job, Richie. Well done. Incredible presentation. Yeah, it's absolutely very nice, Richie. Oh, thank you, guys. Thank you so much. This year, we opened 100 new pizza places and bought 1,000 new properties. The profits are going to go through the roof. Everyone's investments are going to be doubled, if not tripled, by the end of the year. Wow, how incredible. I love money. All this has been really fun, and it's great to see the company succeed. I just wish our founder, Winston, was here to see this. I know he'd be proud of each and every one of us. You know, I've been thinking a lot about our future and the future of this company. Let's make more money. Oh, yes. Yes, of course. The future is going to be us making more money. But what I'm really thinking is our future should be giving back to people. That was the biggest message that Winston never taught me. And I want to expand our charity. Getting affordable housing for people is great, but I want to keep growing. I want to help them get on their feet. Well, if that's what you want to do, Richie, you are the boss. That's right. I am. Now let's get to it, guys. Man, what happened to Fancy Pants' mansion? All of his furniture is gone. Hey, Ronnie, what's going on, man? <laughs> I don't have a job, so I ran out of money, and I had to sell all my stuff to keep up. Oh, gee, are you serious? That sounds terrible. <laughs> I know. Oh, by the way, you still owe me for those last two robberies I did. What? Didn't you just hear what I said? I'm broke. I can't pay you. Well, that's not my problem. You made a promise. Now pay up. You have no idea what it's like. I'm absolutely broke. I could be on the streets tomorrow. Dude, I'm literally homeless. I know exactly what that's like. Oh, yeah. Listen, I can still pay you. I found a way to get some money back. Oh, really? How? Well, there's this big shot rich guy in town, right? Oh, big shot rich guy, huh? I like the sound of that, Ronnie. Tell me more about it. Thank you so much for meeting me, Mr. Mayor. I really appreciate all your support. Of course, Richie. I mean, you are the biggest businessman in town right now. And it seems as though you've got quite an idea under your belt. Well, I've got a couple, that's for sure. Well, I'm sorry, but there really isn't anything I can do to help you. Wait, what do you mean? I know you're trying to do a lot of the free housing for people who need it. Unfortunately, the city has run out of land and you own the rest of it. Oh, really? Oh, man. And the worst part of it is the city doesn't have any money either. Wait, the city doesn't have any money? Shh, don't say it too loudly. Well, I can't get rid of any of the businesses I have. They're all really important and it will hurt the people that work in those businesses too. Oh, man, what am I going to do? I don't want anyone to lose their jobs. I'm really sorry, Richie. I wish there was something more I could do. Unfortunately, the last mayor left this place a terrible mess and I've been doing cleanup for years. Well, no, Mr. Mayor, it's okay. Thank you for all your support and help. Actually, you know, I have an idea that might work. Well, this is the only land that I technically don't own because it was given to me in Winston's will. I'm really not sure why he left me this in the first place. It kinda sucks seeing this place. Reminds me of Winston. Uh, what do you think you're doing here? Ronnie, what are you doing here? Are you living in my house? Uh, you mean my house, dude. Uh, no, Ronnie, this is not your house. Your dad actually left this to me in his will. Have you been living here the whole year? Yeah, of course I have. This is my home, stupid. Well, unfortunately, I'm tearing it down. What? You can't! This is the only place I got left! I'm making this property the next spot for my new shelter. We're gonna help a whole lot of people here. You're knocking down my mansion for a stupid homeless shelter? I don't want a bunch of stupid homeless people living where I used to live. It's not right! Look, I didn't know you were still living here. Honestly, I should have figured it out by now. But I don't want you to have no place to live either. I could give you a free apartment at one of my buildings for a month or so if you want. <laughs> yeah, that right. I'm not going to take help from some poor loser. I mean, technically, you are homeless. Yeah, whatever. It's just poor people money. I don't want your stupid charity. I'm out of here. Don't believe this, Billy. First he took my job, then he took my money, then he takes my house. Enough is enough. We're finally going after Richie, and we're gonna take everything he has. Let's go. That old punk has it coming to him. Oh, this is so sad, dude. The place is already gone. What do we want? Mm, but they left all the construction equipment. I bet we can make a fortune if we sell them. And while we're at it, let's destroy this stupid construction piece over here. Oh, okay. That sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, what was this place supposed to be anyway? Uh, it was supposed to be some stupid homeless shelter or something. Uh, it doesn't matter. Start smashing stuff over there. Wait a minute. A homeless shelter? Are you serious? Yeah, so what? 
Hey, I'm homeless. That was supposed to help people just like me. So what? I'm gonna pay you plenty of money. Why does it matter to you? This is messed up. And plus, you haven't paid me a dime since we started working together. Did you just shut up? Once we get this job done, you'll get the money, and then we'll be rich. Got it? Oh, okay. Whatever you say, Ronnie. It's been a lot of hard work, but today is the grand opening of the new homeless shelter. I cannot wait to see how this turns out. Hey, Billy. Oh, you. All right, Richie, let's go. You and me. What? You know what I'm talking about. Put your fist up. I'm not going to fight you, Billy. I don't understand it. Why are you so angry? Why am I so angry? Because, because my, my life, life is, is terrible, terrible Richie. Richie. That's why. I'm homeless. I'm hungry. I don't have any friends. You're hungry. Maybe we can go get some lunch. I'm about to have a big event, but I can stop and eat. I can't eat. I have no money. It's my treat. Come on. Wait, seriously? Yeah, of course. So what'd you say? The pizza's not bad, huh? It's better than Czechos pizza, that's for sure. That place is garbage. Yeah, I know. I think the same thing. Look, man, I understand why you're so angry, but what you don't see is your potential. My potential? What are you talking about? All you do is focus on the bad parts of your life. Yes, right now you're homeless. Yes, right now you're hungry. But look, you just ate and now you're not hungry anymore. You've got to start thinking of the good parts of your life. Otherwise, the bad parts are just going to take over and consume your life completely. What's easy for you to say? You're rich. I don't know what to do with my life. I want to change. I do, but I'm scared. Well, it's okay to be scared. Your life needs a really, really big change, but I'm more than willing to help you out. I can offer you a free place to live and I can help you get on your feet. Are you seriously offering me a place to live? You know who I am, right? I burned your house down. You did burn that down. But look, I'm more than willing to give you a chance. Listen, Richie, thanks for lunch, but I don't know about this. This is a lot. I have to go. I'll talk to you later. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for attending the grand opening of this homeless shelter. I really appreciate all the help and support of each and every one of you. And I see some of you here are people that want to take part of this program. And I say good for you. You're taking the first step in bettering yourselves and your lives. I may not look like it now, but I was in the same shoes as you. But someone gave me a chance. A man named Winston. He gave me an opportunity that changed my life forever. If I can do that for one other person, I'd say my life is pretty darn good. I want to give back to this community and help you all. Thank you so, so much. Now let's get this homeless shelter open. Let's change some lives. Oh my gosh. He sounds passionate. Like he actually means what he's saying. He really does care about all these people. Does that mean he actually does care about me? Uh, excuse me. I want to sign up for the program. Okay, just gonna pick that lock and we'll rob this entire company. All the money will be sent to me. Hey, Ronnie, what's up? Oh, Billy, help me get into the office. We're this close. I'm not helping you, Ronnie. Uh, what? Richie's right. I was inspired by his speech and I don't want to live like this anymore. I want friends. I want a family. I want a roof over my head. What are you trying to say? I'm saying that I'm done. Wait a minute. What? Billy, what did you do? I called the cops, Ronnie. You're done. Well, well, well. What have we got here, huh? Oh, this isn't what it looks like, I promise. This looks exactly what Billy said it would look like. You're under arrest. 